there, and uh, welcome to yet another video on this channel. I know that a lot of you probably thought that I wasn't going to be making any more videos on this channel, but I think I clarified it in the last one I did. I'm not making any more YouTube vlogs on this channel, but, you know, in this case, I'm doing something I haven't done in a very long time, and it's because of somebody that I really love their videos, and they are a YouTuber um, called Scotty's Record Shop. He does some excellent artist profiles on vinyl. And he inspired me to do artist profiles on CD of musicians that I like. Um, of course, everybody's a little different in how they approach them. But he just did a video called The Worst Album Cover of All Time. A totally subjective idea that each person could contribute to individually. And uh, I, he actually asked his subscribers, including myself among them, to contribute a video of their own or a comment, or a comment regarding a video they made. So here I am, Scotty. I'm contributing. And the whole thing about this video I'm doing is that I actually agree with you, Scotty if you're watching this, about ACDC's uh, Dirty Deeds Done Cheap. I actually just went to uh, rymrateyourmusic.com to see the original cover, and it's a great cover. It's a close-up of a tattoo, like a kind of a cartoon kind of cover. I don't know why they changed it to that really silly one for the United States release, but uh, anyway, you said you made a good point. That album is an excellent ACDC record. It's just a really lousy, you know, cover. And the exact same situation applies to this one. Um, I got this actually off of a music seller on the internet that may or may not be operating anymore called Music Stack, when it was rare. Now you can get this album on CD easy. But this is, this is my personal worst all-time least favorite worst album cover on vinyl, and that is George Duke's. I Love the Blues, She Heard My Cry. This is an absolutely brilliant album. And I'm doing this because George Duke passed away this year. He's one of my favorite musicians. For those of you who aren't aware of his solo work, he played with Frank Zappa from, I think it was 1971 to 1975. And Zappa actually wanted him to play trombone and keyboard. And he was primarily known as a keyboardist, though he did play trombone. And here's the reason why the album cover and music ratio is similar to ACDC. Look at these people. Flora Purim, Ruth Underwood from Frank Zappa, uh, Lee Rettenauer, um, George Johnson of the Brothers Johnson, some of the, some of the best players, and of course Johnny Guitar Watson, one of the all-time blues men who straddled blues and funk. Amazing musician, one of my favorites. Johnny Guitar Watson plays and sings on this album. This album uh, is, to me, the definition of one where the music is as brilliant as the cover is not. And the back cover is pretty good. Really good picture, especially of George Duke with all his art odyssey and all of that. Even as the MP MPS logo label on the inside. And MPS, that's a pretty rare label, actually. Barhart Falk and Terry McNabb and all that. But look at this cover. I mean, I know it's supposed to be replicating the feeling of the blues and all of that historically, but it's not a good photograph. And I'm a photographer. This is not a good photograph. And it looks like almost very cheap kind of KTEL writing on here. It might have been something satirical that um, maybe uh, George Duke had in common with Frank Zappa at some point, a satire of what people thought the stereotype of a blues album would be. But it just didn't work. It didn't look good, and it did not reflect the music inside, which is brilliant. So anyway, Scotty and all of you viewers, that is my candidate for my own personal equivalent of the worst album cover. George Dukes, I love the blues, she heard my cry. See you all next time.